beautiful welcome to my channel and the little tarot 1122 all right you guys i do apologize for not getting your live on today sister girl's kind of feeling a little under the weather so yeah there's that um yeah but i am going to go ahead and get a quick message out for you um this is going to be a love message all right so this could actually be dealing with the relationship that you're in now or one that is coming up for you or something that you may have dealt with in the past, okay? All right, so keep in mind that this will not resonate with everyone. Take what fits and leave the rest. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to figure out. I think I want to use this other deck too. Hold on. see what's going on with your person okay this is the person that uh, you are dealing with at this current time sweetheart okay like I said this may or may not resonate with you take what fits and leave the rest some messages regarding this person. Give me messages regarding this person. Okay, some type of proposal or gift. All right, okay. All right, so someone here is moving into the next level of a relationship. Okay, you got a proposal here. A gift. Someone may be wanting to bring you a gift that may be a ring, okay? All right. Also, promise here. Let's see. Give me one more for this situation, please. And thank you. Uh-oh. See, that's why that was there. Okay, so um, when we had promise, we had breakup on the bottom of the deck, okay? So there might have been um, a brief breakup between you and this person. Uh-oh. Okay, so. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I got a whole different scenario here. On the bottom of the deck, we have betrayal and deception here. There's a need to put up some boundaries. Why does this always come out like this? All right, so. Either there was an unexpected pregnancy or some unexpected communication here. You may have found out something. Um, possibly a tower moment happened here. This could have been you finding out about the deception, the betrayal here, okay? Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like someone here wanted to move into a um, committed relationship here. Or maybe you two were already engaged. Wow, what the heck is happening here? Okay, so someone here might want to try and, yeah, there's a definitely a third party here. Someone here possibly wants to try to apologize, make amends, bring in some type of gift, possibly, um, yeah, propose here. This is uh, crazy. Or either you were already engaged with this person while this happened. So, you have addiction here. Somebody here is possibly going through some type of substance abuse or sex addiction or something like that. You may have been celibate since this actually occurred. Uh, contract, desire and commitment, marriage, eloping. This is something that you possibly want uh, with this person or vice versa. Please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed here, but somebody dipped out or is going to. Let's see. Any messages? Inner child. Somebody's got some inner childhood issues, some addictions. Like I said, they have a poor childhood, um, poor relationship with their family, um, emotional immaturity here, but that's not your problem. People 
are grown folks and they know right from wrong. So with that being said, like I said, there was a tower that happened here. You possibly found out that this person was dipping out. All right, creeping with somebody else. There's somebody else in the picture. So, one of the things that I'm thinking this person might actually use as an excuse is um, their poor childhood, all right? The relationships between their parents. But uh, you're dealing with somebody that has some type of issues here. I mean, who doesn't? But damn, just a straight up lie. What did I say? Addictions. This person could also um have some type of substance abuse addictions here hmm. this is someone that may actually invite you out on a short vacation mini get together um time to you know a cool out time to spend time with them somebody's trying to reconcile with you after some type of betrayal here this is a trip or they will try to Let's see. Give me more information. I don't understand why people do this. I really don't. Alright, so. Not today. Not dealing with it. Hurt. Still hurt. So you don't want to deal with this person, period. You see that they are full of ish. And uh, yeah, you're ready for something else. It says hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, pers uh, persistent, working on it. So this is not something that just happened uh, once. This is an ongoing thing, and it kind of it's kind of like you're tired of this um, tired of this person. They are very immature, very childish here. This person makes promises that they cannot keep. You were hoping that this would have moved into. A committed relationship but someone is playing games here someone is very immature Wow all right definitely third parties here this could be this person cheating with someone else or setting you up with someone else so like I said there's a need to actually set up some boundaries with this person because this person is about to take action or something. I don't know. Maybe this person is offering friendship or something like that. All right, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. There's someone else on the horizon for you. Meanwhile, you got this person here that is dragging their behind. Okay, so kind of looks like you need to kind of get rid of this person here if you want something real in your life because it kind of seems like this person is full of ish. All right, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. So like I said, you have shut this person out, decided to that this situation is over, need time, take time, time cycles, time to heal and progress. Absolutely. Doing what's best for you. Closing the door on this. You're tired of working on it. This person self-sabotages the relationship. They possibly blame shift everything on you because they are childish. They do not take um, responsibility for their actions. They blame shift here. Oh my goodness. What does that sound like? All right. So with that being said, you got some, you got some thinking to do, sweetheart. You really do. Because, yeah, if this was supposed to be someone that you are or were, were thinking about marriage with this person, I don't see this happening. If it happens, you are signing yourself up to a life of misery. That's what I see. Because if this person is doing this while you're in the talking stage, the dating stage, whatever it is, this is how this person gets down. And I feel like this is going to be somebody that is going to string you along. No good intentions here. Let's see. Give me messages, please. And thank you. All right. Love yourself first. Absolutely. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Maybe there's some things that you want to get off your chest to this person. Forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Absolutely. Doesn't mean that you still got to deal with this person at all because you need to love yourself first. There's some things that you possibly need to get off of your chest. Say so. 
you know, clear the air or whatever. If you if that's something that you um that you need to do for yourself, then do that, sweetheart, okay? But um to me, this is a definite no no. Definite no no. Let's see. Give me messages about this person, please, and thank you. Kind of seems like you play, this person plays games, head games. Guilty pleasures, yeah, they indulge in a lot of things here. Not being funny, their family and friends might be involved in this situation. This person is considered a social butterfly. So they like being the center of attention here as well. All right. So this person might um, hang out in multiple circles and things like that. Not to mention they might have multiple um, suitors. Okay. Or prospects here. Like I said, this person indulges in unhealthy habits um, when it comes to addictions and things like this. Guilty pleasures. Okay. Body art. Let's see. This person might be into tattoos and things like that as well. This person comes off like they're a nurturer, and this is how they, they bring you in as well. All right, by um, showing that they're very attentive and things like that, and once they reel you in, they possibly back off. And then you find yourself um, in a runner-chaser type situation here. All right, so we're dealing with someone that has some insecurity issues, very childish, and uh, their level of thinking is like the level of a teenager. This is really crazy. Some people don't ever grow up. Let's see. I already know in the T, you already know about this person. Like I said, running away, you're like, you're like, you know what? I'm out of here. Game over. Um, yeah, hope to use protection with this person because they are very promiscuous. It kind of seems that way. This person is a runabout. Possibly ooh, within your community. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Betrayal and deceit is here again. So there's definitely something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, okay? This person could low-key kind of envy, envy you, all right? I don't know. Maybe you got something going on that this person is trying to literally tear down. This person comes off like they really care, but they kind of envy you. Jealous of something that you're doing or something that you have. Or this is something that they're trying to make you do, uh, make you out to be jealous and so that you'll run after them and chase them. This is childish. So it's just telling you to be caution with this, uh, cautious with this person, okay? Because this person is definitely a snake. And it's crazy because there's snakes on this thing, too. And it says, align yourself with the universe. Absolutely. So, source is already telling you what's going on with this situation. You've seen the red flags. You felt the energy shift and things like that. Trust your intuition with this person, sweetheart. Like, literally. This person also may come in with some type of fake apology. Let's go hang out. Let's do this. Let's vibe. You know what I'm saying? And all they're doing is with that fishing hook, their fish rod, you know? They cast that net out there, cast that line out there, and as soon as they, you know, you let your guard down, they snatch you back in and reel you back in, and here you go back into the cycle again. Don't nobody have time for that. You need to go find some grown folks, and this person does have some messages for you. I fantasize about you. I am different now. This is some BS, because it's showing up in the cards. Okay. All right. I wish you would come back. Didn't I tell you? I wish I had a looked at that card. Wow. Okay, I know more than you think. So this person's probably watching you um, however they can. But yeah, this person is possibly trying to, if you're on a breakup with this person, this person is going to try and stroke your ego. They might know that you are attracted to them 
So they're going to play on that. This person also knows that you're very empathetic. All right. So they're going to try to get you to believe that they're totally different now since whatever breakup you had and they wish you would come back. This person is going to try to sweet talk you. Hmm. Wow. Possibly opening up a conversation. I hope you're happy now. So, if you're not in conversation with this person, they've got to find an opener. And they've got to find that sweet spot. So, bearing gifts. If they don't bring physical gifts here, they're going to try to bring you gifts of, of grandeur. How can I say? Um, stroke that ego of yours. Okay. Tell you the things that you want to hear. Give me flyers, please, about this person. Give me one more, please. Thank you. I saw this coming, but I did not want to face the truth. So this person is going to tell you, I knew you would leave me. Whatever. I knew you were going to leave. Wow. This is insane. Okay. I know you're going to leave. This is something that you always do. This is what you do. You leave. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Okay, so this person is going to blame you for leaving. And this is why they do what they do, because you always leave. But you leave because this is what they do. This is crazy. So this person might have done this before. Um... They might have cheated before. You might not have had proof or whatever of what they had going on, but you possibly had an inkling backed up because the energy shift here. And all of a sudden, you know, this person comes back in, beckoning you again, trying to get that sweet, uh, sweet spot. I wish you would come back. I miss you. You know, I miss the connection. Hey, how you doing? Blah, 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 blah. I hope you're happy. How have you been? So and so and so and so. All along, this person has been on your social media, talking to your friends, your family, trying to find out what's going on with you, and still doing whatever they do in the background, but trying to reel you back in. Somebody's got some insecurities here. Now, mind you, they might have some inner childhood issues here, some abandonment issues, neglect. This is why this person seeks attention. They could have sexual issues or whatever here, seeking attention there, that way. All right. But this here is a trip. So they tried to beckon you back in. Wow, I'm different now. No, you're not. You're still doing a BS, but trying to find a better way to cover it up. But that energy speaks volumes. So if a person is in tune with you spiritually, they're already going to know the BS, period. Some people just wait for the physical truth, the physical evidence to come along. Wow. And intentions is sitting here. And this is crazy because I started to use this deck before. And then this says intentions lacking personal direction. Uh, regrets, confusion, and life as... I'm sorry, let me see. This says intentions. Lacking personal direction begets confusion and life as a pawn in someone else's game of chess. Okay, so pretty much your wishful expectations over this person with this relationship has you still dealing with this person, but this person has ill intent. They're using you as a pawn in their game of chess. Which is really funny because that's the analogy that I use when I talk about people playing games with other people. It's always chess. It's the art of war. So this person definitely wants to win. Either win you back to where you become a part of a harem or something like that. A part of their cycle, their game, not letting go, wanting to fight over this relationship. Um, willing to lower your standards. You understand what I'm saying? To be in competition with other people. Or this person wants to break your emotion, break, break you down emotionally where you're stuck on them, not able to get into another relationship, at least for a while. So this person wants to hurt you. This is weird as hell. Okay, so this is telling you to love yourself first. If you have a conversation with this person, lay it out online. Be your true self. Open up. Tell them how you feel. You understand? 
I smell BS here. This is what it is, okay? If it's not from your perspective, okay, my intuition is telling me otherwise and I need to bounce. All forgiven, learn the lesson, let's go. All right, deuces. All right, so this person may tell you, I saw this coming, but I didn't want to face the truth, okay? This person might already know that you're going to bounce up out of here, okay? And like I said, this person is blame shifting here. I knew you were going to do this. I use you for my own gain and growth. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. What did I tell you? Somebody had intentions here, okay? So either you have something to give this person, like money, um, fame, notoriety, popularity, and things like that. If not this person, you feed this person's ego, and they like that, okay? All right, and it says, I am being influenced by my friends and my families to let you go, okay? So... Um, other people may be like, well, you know what, um, so-and-so, I don't think this person is a person for you. They're not good enough for you. You can do better. Whatever it is, um, you have an adult child here, period. That's what this is. All right. So it says, I do not respect you. I want to take advantage of you because it is easy. So you let your guard down with this person. This is really sad. This is this is really, really sad. And this is what's wrong with the world today. This is why, man, this is this is wow, a trip. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, so this person, when they have good things going on in their life, they want to run to you and tell it because you celebrate this person, period. Wow. Give me more, please. You honestly celebrate this person. So while you're building this person up, they're trying to tear you down. You were the best thing in my life. They may feel that this is true. Um, not being funny, you loved on this person, but also um, to me, your vulnerability allowed this person to do things in their life. Um, or should I say, you allowed them to go above and beyond what they possibly would have with other with someone else. This is crazy. This is really crazy. And that's not saying anything bad about you, but there's a definite need to set up some boundaries here. Not only with this person, but with other people as too. You can be um you can be vulnerable, but when you see people coming in automatically coming in to take advantage, you need to like hey, you know what? You stop here. Matter of fact, I don't even want to deal with you. This person definitely wants to be more than friends. So if you hit them with that, hey, you know what? We're cool. Um, we can't do this no more. But, you know, we cool. We can still hi, bye, whatever it is. You know, hey, how you doing? But as far as anything else, um, yeah, I'm cool on that. This person wants to be more than friends. So they want to be all up in your essence. I'm just saying. And it's for their personal gain. I wonder if you're happy without me. If you going through this type of BS with this person, I will say so. Even if you're not in a relationship, you don't have this drama going on, this worry. All right. So this person may be afraid to contact you. Not sure what to say, especially if you two had some type of blow up disagreement. You fought them out on their BS. Let's see. Give me more. Please and thank you. <laughs> you might have felt like this is true love. All right. This person, person hit everything, okay? Emotional, physical. All right. You may have felt like your love for them was unconditional. This person also feels like that too. No matter what they did, you would still come back. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because they're, they're here. Shit, you got fireworks with this person. Hey. Don't do it, Twin Flame. This is a counterpart connection. So, I don't know about Twin Flame, but this possibly is a soulmate here, a karmic, all right, that you are actually going through all kind of drama with, okay? And this is teaching you how to love on yourself more, set some boundaries, believe people for what they show you and not for what they say. And this is telling you to retreat, Exit stage left, okay? The war is over. There's no sense in fighting this losing battle because this person is not going to change. You have an adult here um, moving like a 14-year-old. So, and I know some 14-year-olds that are more mature than this. So, sweetheart, I don't know what to tell you, but this I will definitely run from. 
retreat. Time alone in nature will help you recharge. So with this situation, I wouldn't believe a thing that comes out of this person's face. All right. It's like, yeah, okay. I see you. Whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is a mess here. This person is very, very childish. Yes. And they have no good intent for you. Period. Period. And it's going to keep happening. They're going to withhold everything. They're not going to give to the situation. They're only going to take. Look, you keep dealing with this person. This is what's happening. You're going to find yourself empty, depleted, heartbroken, disappointed, betrayed, lied to, cheated on, exposed. You understand all of your private details exposed and everything else. This person is definitely not going to get to this, give to the situation. Whatever you give to them, they are going to hold on. All right. That love, that, that whatever it is that you give them. Okay. They're going to take that and not give anything back. And you are going to find yourself absolutely disappointed and depleted, betrayed and everything else. Okay. So source is telling you, sweetheart, move along, close this cycle out. All right. This is not even worth it. Oh, what did I say? You know the truth about this person. They are toxic as fuck. Okay? And not being funny, this isn't just how they move, sweetheart. This is their spirit. This is this is them. You understand? This is this is who they are connected to. This is how they roll. So you have aligned yourself with an entity. Who is trying to destroy you, which makes sense why this person is coming at you so hard. It's because the spirit is behind the spirit that they have. Why this person is destructive, why they destroy. Wow. But you gotta wonder here what is it about you? that's pulling in such a strong entity okay so your connection to source must be strong as hell i'm just saying so the adversary had to send someone to destroy you to try to bring you down that was just as powerful as you are or Source, their source thought that they were just as powerful as you are, thinking that you wouldn't see this person for who they are, their intentions. You saw it, but I think what it is is that that, em that empathy, that love that you have, um, that unconditional love that you have, learning to see a person with a broken wing, wanting to help mend it instead of breaking the other one. You know what I'm saying? You were trying to come into this person's life and show them that, you know what, regardless of what you went through in the past, those boundaries that you have, that wall that you have, you can let it down with me. You're safe with me. But instead, this person chose to destroy you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're not doing that. All right. So kind of seems like this person here wants to destroy your foundation. Give me more about this person. So, and your foundation is your faith, your strength, your connection to source, your confidence. Okay, so this person is trying to break down um, the best parts of you. Let's see. The moon, yes, they have hidden intentions here. But what they don't see is that your sources are protecting you, sweetheart. Your sources see this entity coming towards you, and sources like, hey, you know what he has up? Look at look at this. There's a there's a monster in the dark. There's a snake in the grass. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, snake in the grass. That's funny. And that was my Uncle Paul coming through for me right there. Uh, got you. All right. So, this may be my message, too. Wow. Okay. I heard that just as clear as day and in his voice. That is funny. All right. So, 
Source is telling you to hold on to what you have and move forward from this situation because this is what this person is going to do. They're going to gather everything that they can, all of your essence. See, your money is cool, but this person wants to break you down emotionally and spiritually, and then they are going to bounce. This person is trying to play you for the fool, sweetheart, but they don't know. They don't know. You got a tribe with you, sweetheart. You don't know my ancestors are spiritual gangsters, spiritual thugs, right? Bruh, that karma's going to come back real strong. Not the spiritual gangsters. <laughs> but let's see. Give me messages here. See, you know what? Sometimes we stay in situations too long. And we already know what's going on, but we're going to try to fix it. We try to fix it, try to fix it. Honey, you got to learn to look at these people, see what they rocking with, and then go on and move it, okay? Because this is a waste of time. Absolutely. You are going to regret dealing with this person, all right? This person comes in with confusion. This is the author of their life. Confusion, drama, chaos, mischief, all right? So... Dealing with this person, you possibly already regret dealing with them. But I'm going to tell you, if you trust this person even more, there is going to be drama. You're going to be crying over spilled milk. This is one of the things that this person wants to do. They want to come in. They want to break your heart. And they've done it more than one time coming in with confusion. This person's also aligning themselves with other people. And I don't know why I keep getting this, that this person may be working with other people, too, against you as well. Wow. Anywho, doesn't matter. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. We see this person coming, but we don't let this change who we are and how we move. Just needed to set up boundaries and saying, finally, okay, this is finito, done, over with. I don't want to deal with your essence anymore because I see who you're working for, the adversary. And this is just who you are. Your life path, your lineage. Snap. Okay, so okay, this is gonna sound weird, but you may have had someone that was assigned to you based off of your lineage. Okay, so specific entity that was signed assigned to you. Anyway, I'm going to get off that one because I was going too deep. All right, so I start getting into that. Y'all might not understand me thinking I'm nuts. But okay, it is what it is. Give me more. All right, so. Judgment is about to be cast on this situation. It's time for you to make a decision to start something new. You know the truth with the Ace of Swords. You got clarity about the situation. So it's time to go ahead and move on from this situation. What will be, will be. Let that sinking ship sink. You know the truth. So this is this is getting you out of this situation. Maybe heartbreak and disappointment, but that's okay. You'll get through this situation, okay? And like I said, this person is trying to tear down what it is that you have. They're definitely watching you too. Intently, obsessively watching what you're doing. But this person has ulterior motives here. This person wants to break you down, literally. All right, once you're stuck, stagnant, not being, not being able to move. All right, so with that being said, this is what I have with this situation, sweetheart. Armor up, pray up, do whatever it is that you need to do. Sage up, smudge up. Um, protect yourself from this person and cut this person the hell off because they have no... Um, good intentions for you at all like literally and like i said you're possibly dealing with somebody that is uh it's gonna sound kind of crazy but just like you have that bloodline to the most high this person has that bloodline to the adversary period and this is one of the reasons why they wreak havoc in other people's lives this person has sexual addictions all kind of other addictions here too just things that are very dark. And the sad part is, is that this person likes to play with it. 
they enjoy it. So there's no way that they are going to change how they move, how they roll here, because this is just how they get down, okay? So anyway, this is what I have for you, sweetheart. Stay prayed up. Keep that light glowing, sweetheart, and don't let no, anybody try to come in and dim your spirit, all right? Because you know who you are and whose you are. All right, take care. Bye.